Hey guys, I'm Sarah Duceau and today I'm with Jen Phelan and we're gonna be doing a 10 minute workout that you can follow along with us at home and it's called the Lean Mean Legging Routine. And Jen, no one's ever seen this before, have they? No, this is actually a top secret routine. It's never been done on video. It's actually very rarely done in my classes. So this is for the comfort of your own home. Curtains closed, lights down low. Awesome. Okay, Sarah, so what you're gonna do is start by lying all the way down on the mat and shimmying your butt into the wall. It's actually the most important first tip is to get your butt all the way into touching and then you're gonna lie down, arms by your side. So you wanna bend your knees to a 90 degree angle with your toes and knees pointing towards the wall and your legs hip distance apart. And then from here, all you're going to do is start just by getting your bearings. So curl your tailbone under and lift your hips up. Good, now you wanna keep your feet firmly pressing into the ground. Sarah's up pretty high in this one, so basically if you ever start to feel pain in your back, you wanna bring it down a little bit lower. So just lower a little bit so more of your rib cage comes down. If you're super advanced and you don't feel this halfway through, that means you're really advanced, then you can lift your hips up higher. But you're just going to roll down through your back and then lift your hips all the way up. That's it. This is the first part of the exercise. Parallel legs, phase one, roll down and roll up. And the most important thing that you need to do at the top is to squeeze your butt. You determine how hard or easy this exercise is. And if you don't squeeze at the top, you're gonna be like doing this all day wondering when it's gonna kick in. But if you are squeezing, you're gonna feel the burn. Now it's really important that you don't start to let your knees kind of like splay out. You wanna keep your knees totally pointing forward, like your knees or your inner thighs are hugging an invisible line towards your center. That's gonna work those inner thighs too. So you're working butt, you're lifting and toning your seat, you're working your inner thighs for that long, lean, sleek look. And actually, if you start to really articulate through your back, you're gonna work your core and your back too. All right, you're probably starting to feel a little bit. I'm gonna join you, because why not? We should both be doing this and feeling the burn. What I would recommend for people to do is you probably wanna do between 12 and 20 reps just for your first set to get yourself warmed up and lower. Good, let's do two more. And up, and then at the top, Hold it here. So now at the top, you're reaching your arms long. You're gonna to start to take small pulses with your hips. And I really want you to squeeze at the top. If you don't squeeze, you're gonna do this all day and feel nothing. And what's the point of that? You're like, this is, you know, not the most <laughs> comfortable position. Good, so let's try five more. Four, three, two. Let's do one more set. So roll all the way down and exhale up. We're gonna do 10 like this. Roll down, squeeze at the top. Lower and squeeze up. Good. Nice. Again, if you start to feel any discomfort in your back, just go to about here where I'm going. A little bit up. And then if you don't feel it, go higher. Four more. Are you feeling this? Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. The goal is to like feel like you can't walk tomorrow, right? We want to fit it into our skinny jeans. Two more. Skinny leggings. Yes, yeah, skinny leggings. Oh yeah, skinny, skinny leggings. I'm wearing mine. And little pulses at the top. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and roll all the way down. That's phase one, okay? We have three phases total. So scoop back a little closer into the wall and bring your legs into like a V position. So heels together, toes apart, exactly. And then you want your knees angled over your second toe. Now, tuck your tailbone under, lift your hips back up, and squeeze your seat. It's important not to let the knees come together. Keep them over that second toe. Roll all the way down, same thing, and roll back up. You roll down and exhale up. Make sure you breathe while you do it, and lift. We want to do between 12 and 20 reps of this first set, depending on how advanced you are. Good, let's do five more. Up, breathe, lift, up. That's the accent, up at the top. Up, hold, good. Up, hold, two more. I'm like the world's worst counter, so sorry if I make you do a million. Hold it at the top, now pulse it up. 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Pull your abs in, five, four, three, two, one. One more set, we roll down and lift up. You can start to pick up the tempo to make this a little bit more challenging. Five more, and up, four, and up. Good, three, keep pressing those feet right into the wall. Up, hold it at the top, 10 pulses. So you're gonna repeat each set, each phase, two times, averaging about 10 times, 10 up and down and 10 pulses. Hold it at the top and roll all the way down. By now, your legs are warmed up, okay? So we're gonna go into the grand finale, your wide leg position, like a plie. So turn the toes and knees out to the side, exactly. And this one is where you really wanna focus on your inner thighs. 
So Sarah, really open your knees out and feel those inner thighs up to the sky. Tuck the hips under, yep, roll down and up. So this one kind of shows you a little bit why we don't do it in group it's classes. A sexy. It's a little sexual, but why not? Like I said, comfort of your own home, no one cares. Up and down. Good. Video of YouTube. I know. Got to out your privacy. Exactly. We're Rolling. Good. Five more. Try to really squeeze at the top. Roll down. To keep opening those knees out even wider. Good. Four and lower. It's three and down. So if you're doing this at home, if you don't feel a burn by now, keep working. Keep adding more reps until you really feel it. Two more. Good. Up. Last one, hold it at the top. Now from here, really open those thighs a lot. Start to pulse. Eight, seven, six, five. Accent is up. Four, three, two. One more set. Roll down. Exhale up. Good. Roll down. I'll join you for the grand finale. Roll down and up. Good. Down and up. Lower and lift. Two more and lift. Hold it up at the top. Ten pulses, then we're finished. Ten, nine, eight. Push through. Think about those pants we're fitting into. Four, three, two, one. And roll all the way down. Good job. Give your knees a hug. I find that just stretching your legs up on the wall when you're done is a nice little relief. You can even open your legs out wide, whatever feels good to you. I can pull your leg and give it a little stretch. Don't you worry. Bring your legs all the way up. Here's the funnest part of the exercise. You ready? I'm ready. Bring your knees into your chest. You're gonna, because this is the top secret um, leg exercise, you're going to ninja roll to the right. So you literally roll over to the side and you come all the way up and you're done. So that's it. Your legs should feel that one for sure. My legs definitely felt it. Thank you so much. And uh, for those of you guys at home watching, we have other videos full length featuring Jen. So make sure you stay, you watch till the end of the video and we'll have an annotation for you to find other Jen's other videos. So hopefully you enjoyed this. We'll see you next time. Let us know what you thought down below. My legs are burning. Good, you'll feel it tomorrow. <laughs> you'll love me for it. Thanks guys.